Hey guys, back with another video. And today, today, I will not be showing any spoilers of the game. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, uh, well, I'm not going to show any story clips of the game. But, um, here's my God on this truth of the review of the game. And, um, to be honest with you guys, I absolutely enjoyed the story. Um, it did not try to be like Batman. It did not try to like. It did not try to be like uh, any other Marvel or DC game or anything like that. It was pretty freaking good. I enjoyed it. Um, as far as the story, though, I mean, and the ending. I mean, ending was great. Um. So. Uh, my biggest thing was the probably the glitches that I encountered, and as far as the story, the story is solid. I'm gonna, we can move past that. So let's, let's get on to the gameplay and the missions and characters and all that. To be honest, the best characters that I love to play with Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man. And my Thor is like level 33 already, dude. I'm trying to see how far I can get him, which is gonna take like weeks, but. Um, the thing is with me is that you probably have to main a character, and hopefully, yeah. So the thing is, is about that is that I really wish that, like, you can like um, you can you can you know, m like you get experience offline with your your requested companion, and they can also get leveled up or uh, gear and all that. That that kind of like mixed the you makes it more easier for the player so they don't have to worry about that but it's so hard you know to to get all that because you know it took me like like an hour to be taskmaster with my companions all I got was equipment is for Thor you know what about Iron Man I played with Cap Iron Man and Hulk I played with those four guys and I put them in the game to help me out and it, we don't get experience with them and I'm a little upset that we don't do that and another thing is that um is that uh, I feel like I feel like uh, the frame rates. Oh, 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 sorry about that. I, oh, I always do that in the video. Uh, the frame rates always are dropping, and when you're doing like they, what they need to do is just work on the frame rates. That, that, that that's it. Like the frame rates, the gameplay. Um, another thing I was experiencing was is that the. Um, when you fall in the water, you lose like 80% of your health. And I'm like, it's water. These guys have, you know, enhanced. Why am I taking damage if I fall in the water? And I'm a little upset about that. So I'm going to tweet that to Square Enix on why that happens. Now, I fell off a building with Thor. And I'm like, the dude can literally call his hammer. He can fly back up. Why am I, you know, taking damage from my health? So hopefully they fix that. I think that's just like a, a stupid bug. But me taking damage from water, I, I don't like that. That's that's the stupidest way to do damage to a hero. And and I feel like the boss fights, they made him a little too hard, especially like Taskmaster, where he was taking off hits from like Thor and Hulk. You know what I mean? So I mean he should he he should not be that much of a tank to where he's taking hits from them. Especially if, if Hulk is like superhuman, he's only a human, dude. And unless he has like tech around or stuff that can immobilize or just you know discomfort Hulk and Thor, but Iron also also Iron Man, you know what I mean? So I'm just I was not really happy with that boss fight on whether that's gonna be like that with Julius Claw when we, when when we do get the Black Panther, and hopefully he has like a suit or something because you know Taskmaster, you know I'm saying he might have take on Cap or. Black Widow or Kamala or even you know even Iron Man but why is he taking you know why is he taking blows from you know that that was I don't know that's the whoever was the combat director they need to nerf some of these villains and they nerfed they nerfed the heroes so much I feel like the heroes in my opinion were so damn nerfed especially like Thor and all that like uh, I just, I just, I just feel like we, 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 we really didn't, um, they really didn't, they, we need some buffs to these characters, I, they don't feel very strong, and I'm afraid about Captain Marvel whenever we get her, 
hopefully we get her soon. Because another thing I want to mention, there are only two heroes in this game that can fly, and that's Thor and, you know, Iron Man. To be honest, I'm glad they added, you know, K. Bishop and Hawkeye, and, and possibly Black Panther. But I would rather play... Um, as a, I'm more of a flying hero. I like to fly. You know, and Captain Marvel, if she's really good, she definitely will be my go-to girl to uh, kick butt, you know, especially on, the, on those difficult missions. She might be one of, the, one of them tank characters, and, like, she's her binary ignition and all that. Like, that stuff like that, hopefully they add. But, um... But, yeah, man, I just, you know, I'm just, at the same time, I feel like the characters were nerfed, and I feel like the bosses were too buffed up for the characters to take down. And I, I, I understand you trying to make it a challenge, but when you have like a weakling like Taskmaster that can be beat, beat, beat by Hulk or Thor, and that that's that's the problem. So, um, as far as that, there were some glitches I could run into. Um, there were some, um, there were some, uh, they some, uh. Oh, I say some uh Jesus frame rate issue. So another thing about the frame rate, like when I was playing at the end of the game, the frame rates man were like dropping like hell. Like I don't know what was going on, but they dropped all of a sudden, and I don't know. So and another and another thing, man. Um, another thing this game really needs is like a defense buff because I'm always some reason taking damage from an enemy. Like. And I really did not like that. It, I'm just explaining all my dislikes right now because you know there's a lot of things I did not like. But it, it just certain things that you I understand. You trying these heroes are powerful. Don't get me wrong, like Iron Man. But why can he block? Like why can I block? And why can I? You know, it just I'm taking damage. So you see, you see this, you see this scene right here. I'm taking damage. I'm trying to dodge. I'm still getting hit. And you know, there's no way. And that's what I'm saying. Like. You have no defense. This game has no defensive. Uh, you have counters, yes, but you have to time them right, just right, and they take eccentric energy, which to do. So that leaves you kind of defenseless if you run out of that. So you know what I'm saying that, that's why I say. And sometimes the dodge mechanic does not work, and especially if they have like the some they have the suppress um, little the debuff on you to where you, your mobility is decreased, which. I do not like so um they need to add a blocking mechanic in this game as far as update for each character um this what to me was the biggest thing i had a problem with was the defense the defense absolutely is atrocious in this game to be honest with you because I, I took a lot i died so many times man you can't block and you have like an armor buff and the only thing you really could do is either counter or uh or dodge and that's not good i would like a blocking mechanic in this game so you could take the least amount of damage for Thor, Iron Man, all these characters, you know, black. Maybe, you know, maybe certain characters you don't need to block, but, you know, but ha having a blocking mechanism or something that can, you know, um, re re um, avoid critical hits. Because I, you see right now, like, bro, like, even, the only person that can really could block is Cap. And Cap has that block, but if he, he, uh, he has an eccentric energy, which drains it. And that was my problem. So... Uh, defense in this game is not good. Uh, as far as Spider-Man defense, I liked it. I thought it was better because um, you can he can dodge. You have a you have a perfect dodge thing, and it, it, it was different. So, and it doesn't take energy to dodge because some of these characters have very basically limited stamina, such as Thor and Hulk. And you know Iron Man gives him enhanced abilities as well. So and also Cap, he's at peak human condition. So, um, but at the same time, man, I feel like there were some things. But also, I love the um, missions, and they were really good, man. I I absolutely enjoyed them. Absolutely enjoyed the missions, and you know. Uh, but I do another thing. They need to add more because I really got bored after I beat all the missions. And to be honest with you. No one really want, wants them to do the same mission. Well, they should, like they would they should have did what the universe two did. They had like over a hundred missions before they started, and I think they added like fifty after that, like doing the DLCs. Like that was my big my big thing. Like like the the there was not enough there was not enough missions for me to just go around, and there was too much for me to do. 
I wanted to like that. No, that was too little for me to do. And I got really bored, and I stopped playing. So hopefully they, they you know, give us more missions in the future because, to be, to be honest with you, I just don't think 24 missions is going to cut it. We're going to need hundreds. Like, you, you know, if it's going to last for years, we need to have more different cities, different places, maybe different same place but different objective. It, it, it needs... It needs more missions. Twenty four is not gonna do it, especially if you want if you having millions of people playing, especially this Friday, who has a standard edition, which I totally think that needs to be a, a more mission buff. Like you know, you, you need when you have these, you talking about um, we getting K Bishop in I think they say end of October, and Hawkeye like early November. Okay, but you know those missions were well, probably gonna be about four, three or four. But we, we need some now. So, because you having 24 missions and then you have the weekly challenges, I will do them. But as far as that, man, I, I, I'm just not happy about the um, the missions that we got. It just, it's too little and it's not enough. And I, I finished them. And uh, to be honest with you, I wish they were longer or something like that. They felt pretty short. You know, the maximum I took was the Taskmaster, which took me about an hour and a half. So I kept dying. And that was the, the problem because he was so overpowered as a character, which uh, honestly he caused Avengers trouble, but he's not that powerful, you know. He might, he, you know what I'm saying? So, um, he, he, he didn't, you know. But at the same time, man, uh, I'm going to do an abomination probably tonight and um, with Thor. And hopefully, um, yeah, man. But um, And another thing I realized before we go is that the max cap is 50 for levels. And I don't see a way how we can max all that out. If someone could comment down below, are they going to allow us to, like... Because there's so many things to upgrade for each character. And I don't think level 50 is going to cut it. I'm sorry. Like, level 28... I, I did it I did it on a certain character. Like, for Thor, level 28 is when you get your primary maxed out. Like, I, I did the... Well, I, yeah, I did the, the, the numbers. So, I don't know on what it's going to be, man, but look, let you guys know this now, man, I'm just, this is my review, but as far as a solid number, 85, 86, I guess I like subscribe button if you're new, and alright guys, on my squad, we out!